Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. And it was an extra easy as day, so great. Um, no real issues with none of my patients, so that's always good. Found a good, well, I ain't gonna say a good show. I found a good series on Netflix, just deep diving into some history shit. Uh, you know me and my weird shit. Uh, yeah, if y'all out there, y'all like that shit. Uh, well, I forgot what it's called. I think it's um, Ancient Apocalypse or some shit like that. Um, with Gr- um, mm-hmm. Graham Norton. If y'all ever watched the um, the Joe Rogan podcast, Graham Norton is a um, a frequent guest of the Joe Rogan podcast. He's real big on history. Um, he's not a archaeologist. Biologist per se, but he's a um, what some people call a pseudoscientist, which I don't agree with. I agree with um, a lot of the stuff he says and a lot of the um, hypotheses, he, hypotheses he puts out there based on history. Um, the main thing he goes around and looks at is um, all these new ancient um, civilizations that are being dug up, and especially the history and um, the timeline, because we know we all know that um, basically most of the archaeology and you know, Archaeologists base um, our history or base man's history based like 6,000 years ago. And they say that's where it started. But these things that are being found around the world have timelines up to 12,000 years ago and, and, and further than that. So that's putting man at a um, basically a technical, a technological advanced society. 6,000 years ago. Huh? Who said we started 6,000 years ago? Most of um, so like, like not as far as the human race, but as far as technology and, and technology and uh, doing major shit, building, building mega builds and shit like that. They say like most of our shit started like basically six thousand years ago or been dated to six thousand years ago. But with places like go back, go, let me get it right because this shit is confusing to say. Go Beble Tepe, places like Go Beble Tepe have been um, dated to like twelve thousand BC. You feel me? So. That's obviously going further beyond what most the um, how he said the <laughs> scientific community is based. It all have their opinions around. It's based on that six thousand BC shit, shit around there. But everything he's finding is double that or more. He's finding a lot of shit in the Mesoamerican um, areas. Uh, he's with the, a lot of different continents and a lot of different shit he's finding is real, real interesting. So, I mean, y'all into that type of shit? Check that shit out. That shit cool to me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check. I, I was trying to check it out last night. <laughs> I went to sleep like shit. Um, oh, smoke, I, smoke I, a good when they watch that shit. You feel me? I, I, I went from Joe Rogan to the. I, went, I was looking at a Joe Rogan episode or clip from that shit, and then yeah, Joe Rogan people because you know he did have Alex Jones yeah. on there. So you know. Yeah. Yeah, I had to deep dive on the shit and, and watch the shit. But I fuck with I fuck with the shit and the shit he's saying is some real shit. Because I mean, just on some common sense shit. Okay, if if motherfuckers are saying won't nobody around and we won't doing shit twelve thousand years ago, or motherfuckers saying okay, everybody was hunter hunter gatherers then, and everybody was hunter gatherers. Okay, so you said these hunter gatherers just woke up one day and decided, okay, now we know how to be architects and we're gonna build these great monolithic buildings and build these societies. No, motherfucker, that shit comes yeah. with time. You feel me? That shit, that knowledge and shit comes with a progression through time and history. So, but if you look at humans and just the time of history, and if we go by what the the masses say, so we were cavemen up until what point, and then technology just boomed off. No, motherfucker, like it was some shit before that. So, I mean, the basis of what they're trying to say. It, like it was an advanced society up until twelve. Uh, I don't don't quote me on the exact the exact date, but they say I think it was eleven thousand six hundred years ago, eleven thousand six hundred BC, some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Where it was uh, multiple cataclysms on the Earth that changed changed the the face of the planet and erased a lot of different civilizations back then. But the argument is like. Okay, so where where are all their where's their trash? Where's their stuff like this? Where's their stuff like? But my my thing is when people say that you're thinking like a common man now, based on our society, our mm-hmm. society, our culture <clears throat> can't be compared or shouldn't be compared to something that's up to twelve thousand years ago. You feel me? Because anything we have now can't be compared to that. But if you look True. at the structures and the shit they could be able to do. They don't want no common ass mentality people, or there's no common man back then doing the shit they did. Because I mean, if you anybody Google Go Beble Tepe, Tepe is spelled just like I said, Go Beble 
Pepe. Google that shit. Go bleh bleh tepe. Go yeah. bleh bleh tepe. The shit was perfect, and whoever, whatever society made that shit, they purposely built it over. They purposely covered it over. Like G O K L E I T A or something like that. This, mm-hmm. this is the part of the podcast where we ask uh, the question: Can <laughs> Padawan pronounce it? I'm gonna say, go, uh, <laughs> go do the research on it. I, I'm a re- I'm gonna definitely look into oh, it. Oh yeah, go, go baby, go uh, a grain of salt just because of good table. I, I, I don't know. All right, I take, it even, I take it even further because motherfuckers always thought you Watch know Atlantis is a big, big shit. So he was talking about Atlantis Google on the shit rate. too. He briefly, he briefly spoke about Atlantis just on some old coincidence this shit. But the story of Atlantis <laughs> is actually based on facts. We know that the story of Atlantis, like the 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 earliest tale we have in written history, is was it the Plato? Plato told the story of Atlantis or whatever, but Plato got the, the story from his uncle, Cylon. Cylon made a journey to Egypt in 600 BC, and that's actually on written record, his visit to Egypt in 600 BC, that's actually on written record. Remember, so most people say the story of Atlantis, Plato made all that shit up. But from written record to make-believe, the story that Solon got in Egypt when he went in 600 BC was of the tale of Atlantis. And he asked the people there, when did this happen? How long ago was this society? Where, where did they go? They, and they told him then in 600 BC that it was 9,000 years before prior to that. That exact timeline and date lines up with the, the geographical data and everything they find it now about this great um, cataclysm on Earth at that time, which in that is called the Younger Dryas. Same way you spell Younger Dryas. Google it. Look it up, people. I'm just giving you interesting shit to go on a rabbit hole with. <laughs> go, go, teple. Go, 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 power. Go, beble. go, go. G. O B E B L I T E P I. Go, go, gadget. <laughs> Go tapestry. Go. go, go. <laughs> go, tapestry. go. You Google uh, whether or not Padawan can say go bag it, go bag it, um, <laughs> go bag that, go bag that, go bag that tablet. I'll tell you something. Is that, that 